Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Take Six. Take Six is a show I created to showcase six films that I've written and produced, and I would like for you to help me to decide which one I should send to managers for representation. Yes, I'm out here like everybody else. Got a dream, I won't let it die. Got a dream. And uh, so a little bit about me. My name is LaShonda Smith. I'm from Asheville, North Carolina by way of Georgia, Georgia. So I'm out here just, you know, get my dream like everybody else. So let's get right into it. The first television series that I would like for you to help me to solidify for management is called Second Chance. Second chance. Everybody deserves a second chance. Second chance at love, weight loss, happy balls, sex with men balls. I need sex. Maybe not. Yeah, I do. Anyway, that has nothing to do with this show, but it just might make the series. Hey, we all need a second chance. Second Chance is a story about a soulful songstress dedicated to the sounds of the 60s and 70s. Yes, as she, as she navigated her way through the millennial era and rise to the top of the chart. The only problem is Zuri uh, has constant nightmares and she recognizes these nightmares are from a blockage of the loss from her mother five years ago. And the only way to make these nightmares stop is for her to follow her dreams. Her mother encouraged her to follow her dreams and you know, not let life pass her by, but be due to the blockage in her heart, she's done just that. Will you take the road with me? Take a journey with me as we follow Zuri to see whether or not she would, um, you know, go after her dreams and remain bluesy and soulful, or will she eradicate her dream and become contemporary and commercialized? Thank you so much for tuning in to Take Six, and I hope you take the journey with me, and I hope that you too also have a second chance that you would like to follow. Thank you again. My name is LaShonda Smith and this is Texas. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and thank you for tuning in to Take Six. Those of you just now joining us, Take Six is a show I created to showcase six films that I've written and produced, and I'd like for you to help me to decide which film I should select for management so that I can receive representation. Um, so a little bit about me, please check on the link below so that you can get a good concept of who I am, the type of films I produce, as well as a one minute clip to the previous film or television series that was already discussed. Okay, let's get right into it. This second television series is called The Hill. It's a 23 minute comedy series about a feisty, exhilarating woman who's a pillar of her community. She's raising three children and she's determined to leave the hood, but one problem, she loves her people. Will she choose her past or her future? The arc of the show is we see this feisty, exhilarating woman taking on triumph and tribulation and use it into comedic moments. I mean, anything that's, that's devastating, she's she sure to turn it around. If you lost an eye, she say you better be glad you have some people can see. If you say your arm hurt, I mean, hey, some people was born without it. I mean, she just make you turn lemons into lemonade. And I tell you what. <laughs> And one taste of her macaroni and cheese and she would turn a foe into a friend in a heartbeat. The cuss of the show is about love, friendship, laughter, and on some occasions, on some occasions, the, they experience some humble triumph moments. Yes, tragedy uh, binds them and they, they know how to pull together and to be community. For this particular episode, we join this episode and they are in the midst of gentrification. Yes, that good old dirty word, gentrification. And they've invited the city officials out to help them to deter or stop the process from continuing. Will you take a journey with me? Take this journey with me as we witness whether or not the gentrification process will continue or will BJ leave or stay? Will she remain there, be the pillow of community so that she can see justice through? Or will she move forward for the sake of her children and to start a new life? Take a moment. Take a journey with me. Thank you so much for tuning in to Take Six. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and thank you so much for tuning in to Take Six. Those of you just now joining us, please take a look at the link at the bottom of the page so that you can get more familiar with our platform. Let's get right into it. The third television series is called Speak to Me. Speak to me. Speak to me. Oh, Lord, you can speak to me. 
When I was down, you always came around just to speak to me. Yes, this is a Christian one hour television series about a girl who loses her way from Christ when she reconnects with an old friend who's now an atheist and has just escaped a compound from which she was captive. The arc of the story is about two friendships who reconciles with their world has collided. Rhea, the Christian, has, has determined to mend their old friendship, mend their old friendship, but she stepped outside the will of God, forgetting that she's just saved and not the Savior. Meanwhile, Rashid, whose Kimmy's captive, is hot on the trail. Please take a journey with me as we witness a modern day David and Jonathan like friendship explore the core values of love, commitment, and sacrifice. Thank you so much for tuning in to Take Six and let me know what you think. Again, my name is LaShonda Smith and have a wonderful afternoon. Thank you. If you're not joining us, please take a look at the link at the bottom of the clip to familiarize yourself with our platform as well. Let's take a look at a one minute clip. So let's get into it. This is the fourth television series. This television series is a one hour drama about a soldier departing the military but not able to utilize her military experience to obtain employment. So fascinated with film and television, she uses the VA loan to open up her first production company. The arc of the show is about a woman transitioning while still battling PTSD and trying to be productive in the community while navigating the balance between love, family, and friendship. Please take a journey with me as we watch Naima transition from soldier to entrepreneur and address issues like colorism, ageism, wage gap to level the playing field for veterans and women of color. Please take a journey with Naima in this production company and uh, let's just see where, how she excels or how the story unfolds. I hope you like it. Thank you again so much for tuning in to Take Good afternoon ladies and gentlemen. Thank you much for tuning in to Take six. For those of you who are not familiar with the program, please take a look at the link below. Familiarize yourself with the platform as well as content. Let's get right in. This is a fifth television series and it's called The Awakening. The Awakening is a story about a woman who wakes up one morning and cannot feel her legs. She recognizes she's been uh, given an unsanctioned drug that has caused a problem. She's threatened by the government if she speaks up with a dishonorable discharge knowing it can affect millions of other soldiers. Will she be ostracized by the law or will she remain silent? The author of the show, it addresses, the, it, it addresses biases that women face when they're trying to seek unity and justice. We witness a soldier being shunned from a unit she once called family. Take a walk with me as we witness Paige pave the pathway for other soldiers that will be following her footsteps as she learned to walk again and seek justice. This is based on a true story. Thank you so much for tuning in and I hope you like it. Good afternoon ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much for tuning in to Take Six. This is the final, the final television series. First I wanna say thank you so much for tuning in and giving me your comments. I really, really appreciate it. And I cannot wait to look forward to seeing this on the big screen because of you and your help. Thank you so much. Those of you just now tuning in, please click on the link at the bottom so that you can get a good understanding of the platform and the content and check out a few clips. The final, the final is called Bristol Place. Bristol Place has won the Audience Award with the Black Women in Film in Atlanta, Georgia. We toured to Las Vegas, uh, UCLA, and the Indie Night Film Festival here in Hollywood. So thank you all of the all of the platforms for allowing Bristol Place to enter into your homes, into your into your uh, your film, your movie theaters. <laughs> I'm sorry. So here we go. Uh, Bristol Place is about a woman uh, leaving an abusive marriage to save her sick child who has leukemia. She flees into a women, uh, women's shelter to provide for her child and to regain her independence. The arc of this episode is shortly after Ebony arrives at Bristol Place. Unfortunately, Chelsea has a bout with cancer, a tragic bout with cancer that leads her to the hospital. Due to Ebony's inability to provide adequate care for her, she's visited by social services who threaten to take her child. Join me 
please take a walk with me as we watch Ebony fight for her child, as we see her um, embrace this new, this new environment with other tenants who've also gone through uh, slightly, uh, slightly similar issues as she has, but they gather together and she has to embrace them as a newfound family. Watch us take another journey with us to see if the Provost Marshal will allow Ebony temporary custody or will she flee from Bristol Place altogether to save her child. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope you like it. Please take a look at the link below and have a wonderful, wonderful day. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much for hanging in there with me. I just wanted to have just a quick feature bonus, bonus show. Um, this may be a six to eight episode anthology series. Just kind of want to uh, gauge whether or not I should keep it as a feature or not. Uh, kind of picture of shots fired, the hate you give. This show is called Penance. It is a one hour drama series about a friendship that's being severed due to police brutality. One traffic stop and birthdays will never be the same. The arc centers around Marissa who's seeking justice for the death of her brother. She's an attorney who's fighting with the judicial system for her to take the case while she's trying to get solace for her, fa her family. Take a journey with me as we witness Marissa champion for justice for her brother. However, we battle disengaging the unit because the officer is seeking approval for his comrades. A unit thing for sport. Travel with us as we see justice. Travel with us as we look through justice through the eyes of children. Because one in three.